Number 5. The Apollo 10 launched in May of 1969 and ultimately led to a following mission dubbed Apollo 11 that launched in July of that same year which allowed man to step foot on the moon for the first time in history. Apollo 10 flew astronauts all the way to the moon in a command module and even allowed two crew members to hover just 10 miles above the moon's surface. It was during this time that Gene Cernan, who was piloting the lunar module, asked the man piloting the command module, John Young, if he heard a strange whistling noise, continuing to say that it sounded like a quote, outer spacey type of music. John concurred, then asked Tom Stafer, who was in the lunar module with Cernan, if he heard it, to which he agreed as well. To this day, no one knows exactly what this sound or music was, though some have written it off as simply being some sort of VHF radio interference. However, many conspiracy theorists insist that this may have been a signal intercepted from deeper into space, possibly even from extraterrestrials. Have a listen. Hey, when do we fire the helium pipes? Not yet, babe. You want some more brownies? Now. Push to the little hunger. That hit music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! Look at your Yeah, it sounds like uh, you know, outer space type music. Hey Tom, is your is your insulation all burned off here on the front side of your window over here? Right? Yeah. Mine's all burned off. Heading out here, where are you, John? Two. Boy, that sure is weird music. No. It's a whistling, you know, like an outer space type thing. Number four. In 1994 or 1995, a Columbia University's radio signal was hijacked by an unknown individual. During the broadcast, a voice can be heard appearing to read obituaries, at one point even mentioning Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. A tape recording of this event was captured by a 4chan member and subsequently posted online, though the user who uploaded the file had very little information regarding the incident, other than vague recollections of it actually taking place. To this day, no one knows who is responsible or the purpose behind the hijacking. Father Michael, 
Number three. In July of 2017, an FM radio station located in Mansfield, England was hijacked on eight separate occasions, each time playing the song called The Wanker's Song or The Winker's Song by Ivor Begune. Prior to the song playing, listeners have reported hearing a man proclaim I'm a wanker multiple times, almost as some sort of an introduction to the song. According to investigations, the hijacking is taking place by means of a mobile transmitter, which is being used to override the channel's main broadcast. The transmitter is only ever run in short bursts, making it nearly impossible to locate. Here's a short clip of the song, though be warned it's pretty catchy. My mother said that I never should play with the naughty rude girls in the wood. Their giggling talk I could never understand And that's why I fell in love with my right hand And that's why Number 2 UVB-76, also known as The Buzzer, is the name given to a shortwave radio station broadcasting on 4625 kilohertz. The broadcast emits short, monotonous buzzing tones, which repeat at an approximate 25 tones per minute, occurring 24 hours a day. On rare occasions, the buzzing will be interrupted by a Russian voice, though no one knows why. The first reports of this odd station were made back in 1973, and its origins have been confirmed as Russian, with the station widely being associated with the Russian Air Force, though this has never been acknowledged officially. On rare occasions, the buzzing has ceased and a Russian man has been heard reading numbers and last names, as well as statements such as I am 143, not receiving the generator. That stuff comes from the hardware room. It's a truly freaky station. Have a listen. Number 1 There's extremely little info regarding this next broadcast, which took place in September of 2017. Apparently, a local radio station in the Wofford Heights area was hijacked by an unknown party, with some claiming that the station then began to send out alien codes or hidden messages. At the same time, the text of the radio station changed from song titles to the word hello, causing many locals to become severely disturbed. Check it out.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.